Welcome to Deep Hunt. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most powerful features on our platform, the component system. So, what exactly is a component in Deep Hunt? Think of a component as a reusable design piece. It can be a simple button, a navigation bar, or even a whole section, just like this header that we're going to use in today's tutorial. To clarify your components even more, I want you to imagine a website that has, let's say, 150 pages, and you have the same section on all of those pages. What if you want to change, let's say, uh, text on those sections? Yes, you would need to go from page to page to all of your 150 pages and change that text separately. But with the components, you can change that text in one place and it will be changed everywhere. Let's see how can we use components. When you create a component, you're making what we call the main component. This master version is like the parent of all its duplicates, which we refer to as instances. Now, let's show this in practice. First of all, you need to select anything you'd like to transform into a component. I'll use this whole section for this example. When I go into the layers and go right click to section, I can see the option convert to component. When I click on it, my layers will change. You can notice how this green label showed and the text that says hero. That means that my section is successfully turned into a component. Now, how can I see and edit this component? Well, I just need to go to the components panel and you will notice that there is a hero component. When I hover it, you'll notice it's our section. Left click on it and it will appear here. This is what we call the main component. Let me show you how can you reuse this main component and create those so-called instances. I'll go to an empty page and select my body tag. Now, I just need to hit Ctrl E on my keyboard and in this search bar I'll type component. When I hit enter, this will be added to my layers. Now, when I select this and go to the settings panel, I can notice the component option. When I open it, I can see the name of my component. Now, when I left click on it, my component will be added. And this is what we call instance. Now, let me show you a few more ways to add a component. Let me again go to this empty page and select body tag. First of all, I'll add one empty div. Now, when I hit Ctrl E on my keyboard and type the name of my component, it's hero. And when I hit enter, again, my component will be reused. And this is our second instance. Let me show you another way. And let me again go to another empty page. And when I select it, I'll add one empty div and I'll open components layer. Now, when I go right click to my component, I can go to the get option and then I can go back to my div. I'll go right click on my div and I can see the option set. When I click on it, my component will again be reused. You can choose any of these three ways to add a component. They all have the same functionality. Now, to explain it once more, right here, this is what we call a main component. And all of those components we added are called instances. I said what are the components and how to create them and reuse them. But let's see what's the beauty of components. To say it again, this here is our main component and all of these are the instances. What will happen if I edit a main component? Let's go with this text for example. When I go to the settings and change its content, let's type this is my component. You will notice that all of the instances has gotten changed. This is because they all pull information from the main content. Now, let's go and change this image here. I'll go and let's put this gradient. You can also see that all of the images on instances are changed. That's because images also pull data from the main component. Let's put it back to original. And Let's change some styles onto the main component. For example, directly on a section. Let's change background color. 
you will notice that all of the instances are getting the same data as the main component. Now, let's go and reset this. You're probably thinking now, what if I wanted to change data on my instances separately? Well, you can do that pretty easily. Let's zoom this instance, for example, and let's change this text. You just need to select it, go to the settings and type in some different content. For example, this is my separate instance. And as you click outside, you will notice that only text on my instance is changed. My main component and all the other instances are the same. Let's change this image as well. I just need to select it, go to the source and let's put this gradient. You can also notice that image is only changed on my specific instance. Now, what will happen if I go back to the main component and now change text? Let's add these two marks and you will notice that my separate instance is, isn't pulling this information. And what if you want to reset this and for this instance to again pull information from main component? Well, you can do this simply. Just select this tag and you can just go back to the content and remove everything you've entered there. And you will notice as soon as you do that, that component will start pulling information from main component. Now you can do the same with the image, just clear its source and again it started pulling information from the main component. Now what if you want to hide something specifically on one instance? Let's hide this paragraph. I'll select it, go to the settings panel, hit this plus icon and add this visibility option. When I click on hide, my paragraph will disappear, but only on this instance. As you can see, all the other instances and even my main component still got this paragraph. Now, let's say a few words about ID. If you want to add ID on a separate instance, this will work easily. You just need to select one tag and just add ID. When I input something like test, this ID will be added only on this instance. Now, when I click on this tag, you will notice that there isn't any ID. And the same will work for attributes as well. Let's go to the advanced panel and remove this one. And let's add another attribute like components testing. When I add this attribute, he will be specifically added only to this tag in this instance. As you can see, this tag don't have this attribute. So to wrap it up, you can add attributes, IDs and these condition visibility options to any instances separately. Now let's change some styles on instances and see what will happen. For example, on this heading, I'll set text color. Let's go and let's add a red color. When I hit save, you will notice that all of my instances and even my main component got changed. And there is one workaround if you want to change styles separately on instances. And that is through classes. But first, I'll reset this property of color red. Now, let's zoom in and add a class to our tag in our instance. For example, let's add class font red. Now, when I select this class and scroll down to the typography panel, let's change color. Let's set a red and when I zoom out, you will notice that only this tag in this specific instance got changed. And that is how can you make a style changes into a instances. There is one more thing left to be said about components. And for this example, let's select this instance here. And let's go to the settings option and there you will notice this instance option. Now, when I turn it off, you will notice that all of the changes we've done to this instance are now gone. Even the paragraph that we set to be hidden is now visible. This means that this instance is again pulling full content from main component. Or, in the other words, this instance now has become a main component. And to prove you that, I'll take this text and let's make some change. Let's add again to it. And you will notice that all of the instances and the main component got changed. 
This feature is pretty useful when you want to have some instances to be exactly the same as your main component and you don't want them to be changeable. For this example, we can take navbars. You want all of your navbars on every single page to be exactly the same. So, there is when you would use this feature. This will be everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in another one.